MMA Grinders. And coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Bantamweight Division title. So here's the number one Bantamweight contender making his way to the octagon. Got to be some nerves here as he gets set to compete for the UFC Bantamweight title. No denying he deserves to be there. He's got the requisite win streak. He's got the finishes. He's got the popularity, the fan support. Now he needs the championship performance. We'll see if he has what it takes to unseat the incumbent. All right, so here he is, the consensus number one Bantamweight in the world, the UFC's reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Bantamweight champion, and he's looking to make the walk out of the octagon with all of those same titles. He wants to be mentioned with some of this division's greats, all-time types. Gotta win this fight tonight, make good on another title defense, and then his name creeps into that conversation. Or tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Wineland is 14 years the elder. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 24 wins, 16 losses, and one draw. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Chesterton, Indiana, presenting the challenger, Eddie Wall. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 6 losses, 1 draw, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world. This is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, do not fight. taking on a true 5 2 player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. 
he knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off. A couple of chins here being tested early. Checks the leg kick. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at him drive his shins into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Looking to land the right just out of range. Leg kick. Huge block there. Straight right hand, no good. Nice. Oh, single collar tie here. Big punch land. Round one. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, nice elbow. Oh, he might be out. That's a big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice jab, follows it up with a nice right hand. because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So under a minute to go here in what has been a competitive and action-packed first round. Oh! 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 Slams. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on him. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the one that land perfect, and that one landed perfect. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Wideland shot is blocked. Final seconds of round one. Pretty good right hand. Well, what a round it was, and how about that flying Superman punch at the end of the round? Not a lot of fighters will try it. He did, he executed. And it worked, right? No discouragement from his opponent to make him not try it. Why not try it? It's working, so why not try it again? If his opponent isn't careful, he will get knocked out and be on a highlight reel for the rest of time. You ready? Round two is on the way. Nice body kick. He has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he makes... You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, that's a nice strike. Back and forth we go! Oh, tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there, now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Look at him yank the head and land that beautiful punch from the clinch. Just over three minutes to go. He blocks the punch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Just out of range with that left hook. Look at him dig that body shot right up here. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. Oh, 
straight right. Just out of range with that right hook. Now goes in and secures the takedown. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Back to the stand up now, both fighters upright. Spinning back this is there. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh, he hurt him! Oh, nice. Nice. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Oh, look at that jab. Snapped his head back. His jab gets to the target so fast. Oh! For him now, you see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. just misses. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Straight punch lands. And both guys really throwing with authority. Wineland gets hit by four. Delivered the diving punch to the head. News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, that is a high level transition to half guard and now in a position to do a lot of damage. Watch him sit back on the leg and land big ground and pound. Back to his feet. Straight right, he misses. Big punch lands through the middle. Misses with the right hand. as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. Wadland gets caught with that punch. Nice shot to the body there. And follows up with another one. Wadland's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, five seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Eddie All right, so there he is, the new UFC Bantamweight champion. We asked him in our fighter meeting on Thursday about the belt, and he said, you better get my size right because <laughs> gold jacket, green jacket, whatever it is, I'm going to be the champ tomorrow, and here he is. He knew, he knew 
He willed it into existence. He trained hard. He prepared himself to be the best in the world. And tonight,